Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of project management key concepts from the project management body of knowledge. This one in particular is inspections versus audits. Now why are we looking at this? Well, you will come across both inspections and audits in your project management career and during the PMP exam. So it is important to know their differences and their similarities and when and where they are used. First of all, let's look at inspections. An inspection is the examination of a work product. So the, someone is actually inspecting it physically, uh, a particular work product, an item that we're delivering. So we're determining if it conforms to the documented standards. Basically, it could be uh, like a quality check, for example. But does it meet, meet the feature set that we agreed upon when we're delivering our project? So the results of a single activity can be inspected or the final product itself can be inspected. So the, the overall product uh, that we're delivering. Now inspections might be called reviews, peer reviews, audits or walkthroughs as well. Especially in an agile sense, you might have a walkthrough or uh, even a peer review or even a demonstration or review to your uh, product owner or to the customer that you're delivering to. And inspections are also used to verify defect repairs. If we're fixing something in our project, uh, part, of the, part of the project or part of the product that we're delivering, then we will need to inspect that once it's fixed, make sure that it is okay and we're happy to proceed. Now this differs from audits, where an audit is a structured independent process used to determine if project activities comply with organizational and project policies, their processes and their procedures. So this is more of an, uh, a high level view. Someone is coming in usually from the outside, external to the project, such as the organization's internal uh, audit department, either a project management office maybe, or by an auditor external to the organization itself. They're coming in and having a look and is our project, uh, has it been documented in the right way? Is it following the, the methods that we want them to follow? Is it uh, delivering the project in the way that we want it to be delivered? Does it meet those policies, procedures, and those requirements? Does it have a system in place for delivering? All of those things will be looked at as part of an audit within your project. Now, some examples, um, so audit objectives may include, uh, but they're not limited to, identifying all the good and best practices uh, being implemented. So and maybe they could recommend some best practices for your project. Maybe we could uh, follow the Pumbok Guide, for example, as one of, the, one of the best practices in the industry to deliver your project. Uh, and we're identifying all non-conformity or gaps or shortcomings. So maybe there are gaps in the way that we're delivering, maybe there are gaps in the product that we are delivering, and all those can be called out by one of those auditors coming in looking at the way our project's being delivered. And that is the difference between inspections and audits.